All right, we are doing something fun that we don't always do, but we have done it a few times since we moved down here. We're going to Top of the World Lounge. <laughs> Peter is, um, well, some, a coworker from the hotel that he worked with in Chicago. Um, she actually doesn't live in Chicago anymore, but she's a DVC member, and... I like to take pride in, <laughs> we are a good portion of one of the reasons why she has bought a DVC. Yeah, and so her and her husband Mark are here, and this is actually the last night of their vacation, and we've been meaning to see them, we've just been so crazy, um, so we're happy to have like a last night with them. I think they have some snack credits. Yeah. We're gonna enjoy top of the world, see the fireworks from up there, then maybe go to the Polynesian Venture, yeah, yeah, around the monorail loop. We'll see. And so our journey comes to an end, but yours continues on. Grab hold of your dreams and make them come true. For you are the key to unlocking your own magic. Now go, let your dreams guide you. God. So we had to come over. We're walking to the Contemporary to take the monorail to the Polynesian. We never saw a Please Be Advised PG-13 sign before for the movie Under the Stars. And it's Saving Mr. Banks. So we're going to go find that. But we got our friends Brooke and Mark with us. Woo! We're going to go hang out with them. We're going to get the monorail, go to the Polynesian. Can I get you, we, Yes, you can. Woo! Did you try it yet, Mark? What's that? Did you try that? I had a little bit of it. What do you think? This is Mark's first dole of ever. Didn't they taste what I would expect it to taste like? That's, that's called I'm sorry, classy I didn't know this was on camera. This is fantastic, <laughs> and everybody should get it. No, he is the definition of classy. He was a DVC member before buying a dole whip. That's right. Priorities, yeah. priorities. I am absolutely not swayed by anything. So. <laughs> Though I spent many overnight shifts trying to convince his wife to buy a DVC. And, so, and, yeah. I think I, I think I owe, I think I should pay off some of your debt. Look at that. We're watching Coco. When the movie didn't even, when did it even come out? It came out on the 27th. Well, look at that for the win. Coco came out the 27th, already on the shores of Bay Lake or Seven Seas Lagoon. In my mailbox at home. Oh. Really? We haven't bought any yet. <laughs> Sarah just told me to sneak through these bushes and try to get a, a good shot. Oh. Oh yeah, right where she's standing, yeah. Ooh. This is how you get $80 off your Spirit of Aloha performance. <laughs> I gotta give all this credit to coming over to my favorite resort. Please, they're like, why don't we got time before we hop on the monorail? Let's go on a Grand Floridian. And Mark is like me. He's not 100% sold on Grand Floridian yet. No, not quite. But I can get there because I used to not like Grand Floridian. Now it's my favorite. But they told us the eggs are out, so we're here to check out some of the the first Easter eggs. Made all by the bakery. I Sleeping Beauty today. You caught me. So I wanted to give you a little explanation of the two pals we're hanging out with tonight. Brooke, I met working at the JW in Chicago. We worked overnight together for like two over two years. Sorry, I forgot to say it was there. Those skills are spicy. Yeah, we got these sweet and sweat, sweet heat, fruity flavors with a spicy kick of Skittles. Mm -hmm. They taste like normal Skittles while you eat them, but then they have an aftertaste that tastes like straight fire and spice <laughs> in your but soul. But you want more. But you want more. 
Okay, bye. So Brooke and I used to work at the JW Marriott Chicago together. We worked overnights for probably close to two whole years, like five days a week, almost the same schedule. Overnight. So for all my overnight people, I always give props to. You know how tight you get when you work with like the same people on that overnight shift. She came to our wedding, she was super sweet, and then actually at our wedding she realized that we hadn't been eating or having dessert or enjoying any of those sweets or anything like that, so she went over to the sweets table we had, like got a big a plate, plate of all the sweets and like we went to her put it on the side. In Michigan. We went to her Michigan wedding in Michigan. She gives us like a lot of credit for them actually buying a DVC. And we used to talk on overnights and used to look at direct Disney sales. We used to look at resale Disney contracts all the time for DVC. And we used to be like, one day, won't it be crazy when one day we go to on a Disney World vacation like together at the same time with our DVCs? And we weren't on Disney vacation, but we it's live pretty here. Pretty close. Pretty close. We went to Top of the World together. Went to Polynesian. We had Dole Whips. Her husband Mark is the bomb. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of like just reminiscing while also just having a lot of fun too. Yeah. I don't think we did too too much reminiscing. No. It was good. It was Probably such it was such a good night, yeah. Yeah. And now we're just hanging out. This is what he turned the camera on. I was like, You're gonna show that we're eating this? It's fine, I'm sick, it's medicine. It's medicine for Sarah. And we keep like saying like maybe we should come home instead of like since the park's close so early, maybe we shouldn't come home and just sit on the couch and put on uh, like the office, office or YouTube or run around. But then it's just like nice cool down, like wind down time to play with the dog and to get a cup of enjoy water, our enjoy our home for once because. I enjoy our home all day. Well, the parks are going to start staying open later again, so then we're going to be out later because we have to, I guess. So even like during the week, it'll probably stay open until. I think in the next couple weeks it starts staying up until at least 10 p.m. during the week. Which means we'll probably stay out close to that time. I look like a little troll. Guys, tomorrow's Friday. You know what that means? We're finally going to Flower and Garden. But I don't know if we're going until Sunday. <laughs> but it's the weekend soon. Yeah. When you're watching sleepy. this, it'll be the weekend. And that means food or Flower and Garden is one step closer. And I'm so excited. Okay. Well, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>